Hey guys, I'm Russell and welcome back to another episode of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Where we last left off was that we were basically in Holodome, and we ended up finishing round one, uh, surprisingly, after three attempts, four attempts of doing that. Now we're in round two. I'm starting this episode halfway through the round two, uh, so we've been through two waves for... Well, in the last episode, we went up to the fourth wave, the final wave, um... But for here, I started at halfway, so we I finished two of the waves. Now we're on the last two waves, basically, so we're starting all over again. Uh, or starting halfway through there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to survive this fight, at the very least. Um, I managed to pull off my kills against the enemies so far. So far, good, I would say. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much where I'm at right now, I would say. Uh, where I'm just trying to survive the best that I can. I already dealt with the robot thing, so I don't really think it matters much now. Um, we just need to be careful here with the, at the same time. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's pretty much that, I would say. Yeah, that guy can probably die easy. Oh, my bad. Wrong shot. There we go. There we go. There we go. At least that guy's gonna go away as well. Yeah, so basically, uh, oh jeez gotta be careful here because I want to make sure I'm not spending too much of my shotgun ammo on to these enemies here. Um, at the same time, I need to be careful with my health and my oxygen at the same time, so it just becomes a little bit, a uh, little bit heavy-handed at the very least, I'd say. There we go. I need to be careful with these flying guys over here. I think these these are the reason why I probably lost against the fights so far. There we go. A little bit of damage here. And there we go. Yeah, I want to be careful with all the fighting so far that I've gone through. It seems like the opals are out again. Alright, we gotta be careful here. There we go. That guy's out of the way, I bet. He won't deal as much... He won't be dealing much damage on anybody, so that will probably suck a little bit. But yeah, we're in the third to third or the second uh, second out of fourth wave done. So technically, this is the third one, I guess I'll say. Screw off, please. Nope. Give me your health. Oh, jeez. Dang it. The flying the flying ones are like ridiculous. Give me, give me, give me help! Give me help! If I can kill this thing off, then it would make it make things a little bit easier. The Ofas usually are like ridiculous. There we go. Technically, it should not be dead yet, but there we go. At least that much is given. All right, we got the shield. We need to get the shield regenerated at least. I'd say. All right, let me get my shotgun out, just in case. I need to get up there again. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I'm trying my best to get... Okay, I, didn't, I couldn't damage that thing at all, it seems like. I think it's already been damaged. And that's what it is so far. Um, I gotta be careful because I don't want to get trapped in the hole. I need to find a way back up because it seems like I can't get back up easily. Breathable atmosphere it is. Oh, there you go. I was like, where the heck is that? The Ulfa is definitely where I need to deal with the most of the damage here. There we go. At least that's dead. Alright, now we're in the last round, which we miraculously died because of the fact that, uh... We kind of died due to the fact that, uh... We couldn't fight, or we couldn't find an enemy to kill to get out of the second, the second chance kind of thing. So that was the only reason why we lost originally in the last episode. But hopefully we can beat it. Uh, hopefully. But I wouldn't say I can guarantee anything at the moment. Oh, I messed that up. At least I deal some damage, I guess. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, I'm not trying to, like, run away. It's just they're stuck up there and I'm down here still. Might as well just grab some ammo as well along the way, at least. Alright, there we go. There we go. At least the bleeding effect will help me out a lot, I think. There we go. 
Where's the other guy? I didn't see... Oh, yeah, he's over... The one guy was hanging up there, but I don't know if he's still there anymore. But yeah, otherwise, I'm trying my best to finish up as much Holodome stuff as I can, so I don't have to come back here too often to deal with this. I'm pretty sure nobody likes dealing with the Holodome stuff either way, in general. Get out of here. He's dead anyways. Surprising that he spawned right when I was right here. Where's the... Where's the dude? I'm, I'm seeing him on the map. And I see two enemies on the map, but I don't know where the other one would be at. It's right there, I think. The other enemy is, like, ignoring me or something, I think. I think I see him? Yeah, there it is. He just got damaged a little bit. I can't get him because he's not angled at a way that I can actually, like, do something about it. Hey, buddy, come on. He's not really doing anything. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, I can sit here all day and wait till the thing happens. He's not really... He's not really in a position where I can get him right now, so I'm probably gonna have to walk over to him. Hello. There we go. Hey, Moonstone. Alright, so hopefully that unlocks or moves more enemies towards me now. There's probably one enemy that's... Here, but I'm not entirely sure where. Yeah, they only have one enemy up out, out of the way here. But I'm hopeful that this is not gonna bring me down easy. But who knows? I mean, it could be anything. It could be the worst, and I would just be like pissed. That is not the weak point. Well, where is it? Where is the weak spot though? Where did it go? What the heck? Oh, there it is. I see it. The best weapon against this is the corrosion, for sure. I mean, it's the fastest way to getting rid of the guy. There we go. At least that one's down. There might be another robot somewhere around here, though. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh god, another one right here. Oh, okay, okay, oh jeez, oh jeez. Gotta have to be careful here. Just gotta, gotta have to be careful. Oh. 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 These guys are the ones that are the, the worst for me, against me. Because they're the ones who take a lot of, like, oh jeez, I didn't even see that coming. Yeah, they're the ones- the flying ones are usually the annoying ones for me. Jeez. Get away from me! Okay, we got two more enemies on the map so far that I'm seeing. I accidentally stepped on it! I didn't mean to step on the jump pad! Okay, oh. Jeez, um, there's two fly- flying ones right now. Flying freaking ass. Jeez. Alright, at least I get rid of that one, at least. There's one more enemy somewhere. Alright, there's one more enemy. Oh, flying thingies again. At least these things are not gonna be an issue too much now. Woo! That was a very, a very close one. A little bit. Uh, I think I might have, I think I might have like died if I wasn't careful with like how I was handling with the flying ones. I think the bane of my fights are def definitely reliant on the uh, like the, the usual reason why I died would be because I'm on my second chance and I'm trying my best to like survive the second chance fights. But the reason why I would lose would be because of the fact that they didn't allow me to uh, kill an enemy to just get back on my feet again. Which is definitely always the issue um, with these particular like wave by wave uh, missions, side missions. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of these kind of side by like wave by wave side missions because they're just they are just to challenge you in a way. But I mean, I understand it's for good challenges, more content to do. 
uh, or more more easy content to, to deal with uh, when you're when you're with your buddy and everything. So it's like it makes sense that these are the type of things they want to have the player go through. There we go. So if I'm see through, can you see my underpants? You're not wearing any, buddy. One more time, go and fight with feeling. How about that, DT? You're descended sort of from a badass military AI. <laughs> the death trap. Lilith said something about the Guardians being robots, too? Is that true? Yes. From what we know about them, the Iridian Guardians are biomechanical constructs. Perhaps made in the image of the Iridians themselves, but not flesh and blood. That's weird. Speaking of robolutionary designs, though, how about those doll power suits? Imagine if I could mount my turret on top of one of those babies. <laughs> the Lost Legion were well outfitted and well led. Zarpadon was not an unworthy adversary. Okay, I, I, the way she said unworthy, I was just confused by it. By my brain, I was like, unworthy? When, do you mean like she's not worth fighting against? Is what she's trying to say? Or something else entirely that my brain is mixing up with? And I'm pretty sure it's just the latter. Just my brain just not sure what the hell I just heard. <laughs> Alright, um, let's sell this. These stuff that I picked up while fighting against them. Alright. Yeah, let's get into... Round three, at least. I did say I was gonna change. I'm gonna make this whole episode more Hollow Dome esque, um, because right now the level that I'm given, uh, I wanted to see if there was any token. Um, the level requirement for this is 29 now, so it's already at the point where it's at a point where it's a little bit above the Elisir one, which I can go and do now at this point, considering that I'm trying to get done with the Hollow Dome stuff. I'm just trying my best to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here because, I mean, there's not a lot of, like, big stuff left to do. I mean, if anything, the Claptastic Voyage one, the DLC for that, only has five main missions and a couple of side quests to do, and they're not, like, they're not more than, like, 15 side quests from the Claptastic Voyage stuff, uh, the ones that I looked up on. So I'm guessing there's not much left to this game beyond this point after this. Who was that Gladstone guy again? He was one of the four scientists we rescued. We needed their help to steal back the Helio station defenses. Alright, so their XP is a lot better at least, I would say. Their XP that they're giving out on me is like a lot more decent than not at all. What is this that we're going to? Free the scientists, I see. But aren't they going to be enemies to me then, if that's the case? Bring it! Like, they will become my enemies, isn't it? Because they did get killed by Jack. Jesus. There we go. At least one of them is going to bleed out with me. Oh, jeez. I got to be careful here. Because their their damage is, like, heavy now at this point. Oh, no. It's at the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to release one of them. Okay. Okay, I gotta be careful here because they're actually just like aiming to hit me up at this point. There we go. Stay down, please. Oh my god, those freaking long lost Eternals are back again. There we go. I'm trying to get to the freaking guardian, but it's like I can't get up there because it's like. There we go. At least I got something there. Oh man, these guys are like out now at this point. Oh. There we go. At least I killed the guy first. No! Ugh! These guys are like the worst for me right now. There we go. At least that much is fine, I guess. Oh my god, that's why I freaking got hurt so hard. Oh, there goes that guy, at least. 
All right, there's about a few more enemies. They're down the bottom right now. One of them is actually already turned into some kind of like... You're on the wrong side, buddy. I wonder where the scientist goes. Yeah, because I know the scientist I saved by whatever means it looks like. There's a scientist up here, right? Over here at this point? There's four of them. I saved one of them, at least. There it is. But you guys are dead, technically, I thought. I thought those scientists were dead, in general. Yeah! Right, at least I deal some damage, at, at least. At least dealing some damage onto the thing. 500 freaking XP is a lot of goodies. I see Invisible Dude here. He's just coming after me right now. Nope. Do not freaking dare. Alright, let me release these scientists at least so I can just get these things out of the way. I'm guessing the Hollow Dome is kind of a way to just tell the story again, I guess. Like, because it looks like they're using a lot of the elements of what we've been through in a lot of the main story stuff to just retell the story to uh, the mechanic character from Borderlands 2 and the soldier character from Borderlands 2 as well. <laughs> Nope. Well, he's dead anyways, which is fine by me. Alright, that should be the last guy for the saving. Oh, there's five waves of sun, too. There's also, like, five freaking waves of the sun rather than four. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, no, it's this thing again. They're gonna get sent out and die. Knew it. They sadly died again, somehow. Somehow the game chose to find a way to hurt me and also save me. Not save these guys at least. He's getting more damage into the thing anyways. Yeah, I wanted to at least hold up the damage a little bit so I can... Uh, so I can like literally try to survive that fight there. Alright, we want to do laser gun for now. Though I am low on laser rifle ammo, it looks like. A little low, not too low. More robots, great. At least it's good for me to bring this out now. Come on, robot. Get over here. The guy's trying to get over here, but it's like taking his time. He's trying to get to me at least, I'd say. There we go. Oh, no! I just killed the guy, dude! Seriously? How did I die so quickly? Oh, man. My goodness. This is why I don't like the fact that... Uh, well, at least I survived one round, but um, at least we know where my problem lies, which is literally... Everybody died? No, not really. Well, at the very least, I can sell some of these things because I did pick up a bunch of laser rifle, common ones, that is. It's enough to kind of bring back the cash that I lost, pretty much. Alright, well, let me see what time is it. Halfway through the episode, almost, technically. If you'll return to the arena, I will reset the simulation for you. How about that, DT? You're descended sort of from a badass military AI. <laughs> All right. I wonder well, how. You said something about the guardians being robots too. Is that true? Yes. From what we know about them, the Iridian guardians are biomechanical constructs, perhaps made in the image of the Iridians themselves. All right. Well, I'm thinking they're just Not repeating the line because it's That's automatic. Weird. Speaking of revolutionary designs, though, how about those doll power suits? Imagine if I could mount my turret on top of one of those babies. Sure. The Lost Legion were well outfitted and well led. Zarpadon was not an unworthy adversary. All right. Hey, Athena, who was that Gladstone guy again? He was one of the four scientists we rescued. We needed their help to steal back the Helios station defenses. 
Okay. Well, anyways, in general, I don't think there's much to this. Oh, there's one coming up. Ow. No. There we go. Come on, come on in. The game is fun here. Alright, well, at least that guy's dead now at this point. Alright. Gotta be careful, though, because I am... Wait, can I fly up here? Or float up here? Oh, I can, I think. Yeah, this thing goes up for me. It's like a freaking elevator, almost. There we go. At least that one's out. That one's out of the way for now. Yeah, they teleport into that little pod there, so... Makes sense, makes sense. At least getting rid of the scientist stuff first would be easy for me, because I don't have to worry about, like... I don't have to like worry about like how it's, like how I have to walk around just to get to the thing. Come here, buddy. <laughs> right, that guy's probably dead now. There we go. I can see the XP came into play. All right, there you go. And then I can just do the last bit of here. Oh, okay. I guess that literally killed the one. The one that was flying around. Oh, not the one I wanted to kill, but that'll be fine, I guess. Screw off. The flying bits are easier to kill in a weird way. <laughs> that was weird that they were able to die so quickly. There we go. Alright. I need to get rid of the flying people first. At least the flying people needs to go away first. The flying guardians, at least. At least the flying guardians need to go down first before I can do anything else. Oh, there we go. And he's done. Cool. Needs to be careful here because I need to send out these guys here. Alright, I gotta reload. There we go. Got that. Oh no, I'm almost. Oh um, no. No, he just got. He just got revived. Mother trucker. Come here. Come here. No. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like. Oh man, that sucks. It looks like I'm not gonna be able to fight this for sure. Thanks, soldier dude. Back into the fray, soldier. Don't gun already. Well, I mean, if you give me a better gun, I'll freaking buy it. Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't think I can beat them out at this moment. I think this round is gonna have to hold up a little bit. I, I really, it's a shame that I can't really do it. And I can't beat it because my level is like a little bit below or that my weapons aren't strong enough for them against them. And I think that this is kind of the way, the point where I start going into like training mode or going to grab some new weapons or find some new weapons at the very least. Uh, but yeah, otherwise that sucks, dude. I can't beat it because it's going to take me some time and I don't want to waste my time doing it again and again. And I do apologize if I'm flaky on trying to get some of these things done, but it's just like sometimes when I'm not ready for it, I can't do it. I literally try my best and it's taking a bit more uh, a bit more chances before I can even do it. Um, but let's go do file search anyways. Let's, I guess, push it a little bit further for this story mission. And I'll just, in the next episode, I did say I was going to go and do Ellis here at least. Like try to finish the last side mission as my next plan, which... I will. Guns. I got them. You need them. Which I will, and I'm gonna try my best to beat out the uh, side mission before moving into Warning. some other stuff at least <gasps> in the in the game that is. Okay, let's go back to this. Well, the enemies here aren't too difficult anymore. I think like they're not like super super difficult, but they're difficult still nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I remember we sniped him out, out here. It's interesting that Dr. Zed is here still. Can't talk to him though. 
I think he's here because he's he's considered here. kind of like the uh, NPC that we would talk to when we do side missions. Maybe I think. Oh shoot, that missed. There goes that guy. I can't freaking aim because I'm doing terribly. There we go. Nope, that's a miss. Gotta reload at least, I'd say. Well, at least that guy's gonna... Nope. Nope. No, uh... What? Freaking thing teleports. What the hell, dude? That's such a terrible way of dealing with it. I'm also interested... I'm also very... Interested by the fact that... Uh, or I'm very, like, intrigued by the fact that they use the same asset from Borderlands 2. Because I, I actually read up on a little bit of the development, and this game basically is running the same engine as Borderlands 2, which is interesting to say, or to see, actually. Because I didn't think that they would actually use the same engine. Nothing. I'm guessing that's for a side quest later. Usually, when I see that kind of thing, I'm pretty sure it's a side quest related matter. Oh my goodness, this guy has like a mask, a horse mask. I'm wondering where the big battle was. So it's a Trojan horse. <laughs> That's hilarious. Where is he going? What the heck? Oh, what? What the hell? Oh my god, it hit the other guy, not this guy. I wanted to get this guy at least. Right, I gotta be careful. Oh, there we go. He was about to like get close to me right there. There we go. At least that guy gave me a lot of EXP for that. Shield. Uh, potentially, I guess. Oh, geez, another Trojan? Alright, at least that much is given. Oh, geez, I got stuck there. There we go. Go. At least I get freaking. At least I'm getting rewards that are like pretty heavy up there. Another freaking Trojan. Where are you going? Buddy. Buddy. Why don't you come over here, dude? There we go. I gotta reload, but I keep freaking damaging myself. Why the hell did it miss? Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm stuck on stuff sometimes. It's just really bothering me. Gotta reload. There we go. At least I'm getting the XP that I needed to move forward here a little bit. Alright, cool. I'm probably gonna get the 200 Moonstones to the best of my ability, though, but... Then again, it's not easy. Because I have to, like, kill a bunch to figure out if I can find the rest. At least health is coming back. I see some shops, but I don't know where they're at. There's a shop somewhere here. Oh, wow, they're using the actual, like, same sort of, like containers for the thing which is very interesting oh there it is guns, glorious guns. uh nothing that great okay Later, you got them we got them you need them we've got those guns hey it's the same shop Welcome, customer. i just realized they're the same uh textures and assets to they're the well vending played. machines that's interesting they're using the same one Get your health and shields right here Oh, no, I don't want to do max health subtractions. No. Although they give me more capacity and shields, it just reduces my health, which... Oh, wow, there's the same freaking area that Dr. Zed, like, laid waste to, like, some randos here. 
which is interesting to see that they're bringing back the uh, they brought back some of the similar looking like places to Borderlands 1 which is interesting I have a fear Dr. Z looks like plan A is a bust uh, what another sorry help no Okay. Yeah, someone came through here, tore it up real bad. But I can help you fix it. All the pieces of the bridge are close by. I'll send the location of the first to your echo. Also, oh, Dr. Zed's helping? Part collection of ones and zeros. Go find that first piece of bridge. Zed's always been kind to me. Sort of a father figure. Wise old man, the medically trained psychopath everyone needs in their lives. It's only right he helps us here. <laughs> Get ready! Alright, well, I, I freaking hurt all of them at least, I'd say. Man, these guys dropped a lot of Moonstone. Oh, what? Oh, jeez, I gotta reload here. I don't think that my behind is... Yeah, I wasn't sure if my back was cleared of enemies at the very least. I was getting a little worried because I was like, this area here is unsafe a little bit. Wait, oh, this is the bad memory. Um, am I? Oh, there it is. I was confused by what that is. This is the bridge, isn't it? Oh, there's the other bad memory part. And there goes that. Okay, I was like confused to why this isn't. Okay, we gotta get to the next piece here. Oh god. Oh, it's Tannis. I didn't realize Tannis was helping us this time. Hey, more Moonstone. I'm guessing this area gives me the most Moonstone, maybe? Like, this is the best place for... Like, this place is, like, the best for Moonstone hunting, maybe? Judging from how things are being made here. I also like how they restructured the level for... From using the Borderlands 1 assets. Oh, there it is. Looks like we're helping clean up this junk pile. Though, talk about... Tip of the trash bird, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Hey, that's not nice. This must be one of Tannis's old dig sites down on Pandora. Oh, yeah. There you go. Shield up. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I see that it's a bad idea to keep that thing alive. Oh my goodness. I can't even kill right now. I need to be careful. I need to be careful here. I need to not be too far from the area, but also I need to not be too close to them either. Oh wow, okay. There we go. At least that guy's out of the way. Oh man, he exploded in one go. There we go. Right, I needed to end that guy quickly or else I'm gonna get annoyed with the fights there. Alright, let's grab whatever loot we can find. Some moonstone. Hey! There's some skin customization stuff. It's interesting that I'm getting some stuff that are, like, beyond my level at the moment, too. Oh, wait, that looks... Oh, wait, no, that's max health, is it? Yeah, it's max health. I want more regen, not max health, honestly. Okay, we don't need to go that way yet. So we're gonna go this way up here, because this is the location where the bridge is at, which I can see from afar that that's where the bridge is at. Glad you could make it. Is the bridge piece lodged in that? Yeah, that's just super. Why is it so high up? This monstrosity is, I'm afraid, a permanent carbuckle on an otherwise fascinating dig. Although, until recently, that nearby digger was in the perfect spot to chew through the cube's ugly visage. Uh-huh. Wait, 
A giant digger? That's fantastic! All right, I can see something deeper into the code. Wait a minute, what if I just cut? Oh? All right, we're good! Booyah! Isn't that neat? This is super neat. Uh, the code is getting corrupted, I think? For once, I am speechless. Though must allow for the possibility my visions have returned. That wasn't me that time! Uh, uh, okay, I guess moving stuff around makes the memory unstable. I will not do that again. Uh, he will just still hit do the it. go button on that thing and let's free us up a chunk of bridge. Shield! Energize! Incoming badass! Shield on I can see that incoming badass coming in. Oh, I got the little guy instead instead. I like how the badass guy is like trying to like get away but also like getting hit by the health. Come on. Alright. There we go. Oh jeez, messed up. I need to kill this badass bandit quickly. At least that is out of the way. There's some more enemies. I think they respawn after they after Jack put in those memory stuff. There we go. There we go. At least that guy spawned right in front of me. That little mini bandit. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight here as well. Judging from this whole thing, we might be fighting a bunch of stuff here. There it is. Badass. Got him. Get ready. Okay, I gotta be careful here. There's that guy. Ill. There we go. At least he's dead. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Got to be very, very careful here because I don't want to die. Oh, hmm. I don't want to die here because I'm gonna get freaking screwed over by that. Gotta pick up some ammo here. No, I'm not low health. Okay, we're good. I thought we were like damaged. Like I thought the damage from that guy was gonna be way more dangerous. Uh, at least that guy's. Yeah, at least that guy died already. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Messed up. Oh. Okay, at least I didn't have to scope into the kills. At least that much. They don't give me ammo in these boxes anymore. Typically, these boxes give you ammo more than money, actually. But they're giving me more money and moonstone, moonstones, moonstones, moonstones on the thing at the very least, which is kind of awkward and interesting at the same time. Grab all these stuff here. I'll be using them to sell later. I was about to like hold E for some reason, probably because I thought it was gonna be money, but it gave me an item instead for once, or weapon, I mean. Right here. Why does that look unstable? Oh, what the, did the battery die? A problem easily solved. There are bandits nearby and they have a battery. Find it, take it, use it. Updating your echo. Like, what, what? Really? Seriously? Why would they, why would they themselves have batteries? I'm confused by that. Oh, it's down here. Okay, well, I'm gonna jump down here, I guess. Plug the battery into the substation console. That's totally not cool. Hey, give us our battery back. What? The bandits are now human? God damn it, dessert. We were listening to that. I love that song. I love that song. I'm sorry, I'm just starting to get really into their characters a little bit. It's kind of weird though. Uh, 
Oh, jeez, I missed it. Oh, he's that guy's help. There you go. Oh. Oh, no, this guy's gonna kaboom, isn't it? Okay, the guy didn't get affected, but I'll take it, I guess. Thought he would at least get affected by the, the grenade that exploded right there in front of him. Where's the last guy right here? Oh god, he threw a grenade right as I needed to kill this guy. Man, these guys are really hopping. These guys can hop. There we go. Talk about overkill. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, I got stuck there for some reason. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, oh no, if I get stuck here, I gotta start over this game. What project? You're, you're not even alive. You're not even a real thing, Tannis. Jesus. Tannis is such a weird thing to have in this particular place. Oh, I have to like literally shoot him down again. That should be it. Hello? Wait, I had to actually jump up there? Oh my god. It's up here, I think. This little pathway here. I didn't notice that there was a pathway up here at the very least. I thought it was like down there that they would spawn it up. Alright, well, we gotta be careful here. There we go. Be very, very careful. Check your echo. I'll see you there. Lilith? Why is Lilith in here? She first showed up in Firestone. Man, those bandits didn't know what hit them. Probably because she was invisible half the time. I mean, we oh, didn't get to play as. Fine. We gotta complete that bridge. I feel like it's always me doing all the work. F you, dude. Doing all the work, my ass. Freaking Jack. Jack is like a whiny son of a gun, yet he doesn't do much anything. He's just only helped me barely by just getting one little cold in. One little cold is not that much work, honestly. <laughs> Wait, I'm wondering if I'm going the right way, actually. I don't really know if I'm going the right way. Oh, ow. Oh, what? How? These guys just literally just... There we go. Screw off. Oh, wait, what? They teleport. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing the stupid meme right now. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Man, he kept backing up. I don't know what the heck he was doing. He was just constantly backing up. Alright. Um, for now, I'll probably end the episode because I noticed that we're going overtime by a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to work my way out of here so we can get to Elisir after this one right here because I did say I was going to do the thing and... The next episode, I'm going to keep my promise with that and uh, deal with the way I need to deal with it. Let me see what the map shows. Okay, it's not too far from where I was going at. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or nobody minds. Hope you guys in the next episode or nobody minds or hope you hope to s hope you guys a great, amazing day, week, and night or whenever watching this. Sorry, my brain is just trying to collect my thoughts here. Um, in the next episode, we will go ahead and head over to Ellis here uh, to... I'm sure probably we'll do the last side mission from the main <laughs> game stuff. Uh, I did say I wanted to do that because I wanted to at least get a feel for what the hell I'm going to be dealing with over there. No clue how bad it's going to be if I go do the main quest uh, or the side quest of the... Uh... No clue how bad that's going to be, but... Or maybe... You know what? I want to finish this mission because... I'm almost done with this mission because we just need one more final piece of the bridge and once we get to age source we get the next main mission so maybe i might just do that first and then once we get the main once we get everything together we'll probably go ahead and 
from there, we may go ahead just, like, go grab the, uh, the side mission to be done with the LS here stuff. Yeah, if we have time to do it, I'll do it, I guess, um, for the LS here side mission. But otherwise, I'll I'll finish this mission, main mission for the Claptrap, uh, the Claptastic Voyage stuff. Because I kind of want to do finish a lot of the stuff as much as possible before I kind of close out the series overall. And I mean, we're making progress in general because we beat out round two for the start of the episode. And then we went and finished a chunk of this main quest for the Claptastic Voyage. So might as well just finish it and then just go back to the side mission to see what we get. Because I'm pretty sure we'll get level up after, or we'll get the level up we need after this one. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay to, uh, we're, we're good to go for like dealing with Ellis here once we get this next level up. If we get it from this particular main quest. So, Yeah. Other than that, that's it for me in this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do all that I, that I just said. And uh, I already said all I said today for this episode. So, Roz, out. <laughs>